For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez with another chess-based tip for you. We've been looking at maneuver searches in Chess Base 11, and we're still on that subject. Um, but this is going to be kind of an interesting, kind of a different little approach today. People always ask me, how can you find tactics in Chess Base 11? They think there ought to be a dialogue somewhere where you just click pin or fork or skewer or whatever the tactic happens to be, and the software goes out and finds games in which that occurs. Unfortunately, that's a very vague search. It's not specific enough for a computer to do, um, and it would take forever. Besides, uh, a computer would actually have to, uh, the software would have to look at every position of every game and try to determine if a particular motif exists, like a pin, a fork, or a skewer, and it would have to judge material balances, and it would have to look at the uh, relative values of the pieces. It would just be impossible to do. It's just too vague a search term. However, you can trick Chess Base 11 into finding tactics if you know how only certain kinds of tactics and you have to know how to do it. You have to know the trick. That's what we're going to look at in this video. First of all, as we've seen before, right click on the data database that you wish to search, select search, and go to the maneuver tab. Setting up a tactical search, a search for a particular tactic in chess base, what it basically requires you to do is break down the tactic into its component parts. For example, I'll show you how to do a knight fork, a particular kind of knight fork in chess base 11. As you've seen before, we have uh, done maneuver searches where you pick the piece. We'll start with white. We're going to have a white knight fork. The, what we're going to look for, what we're after here, is a white knight forking the king and queen, and after the king moves away, the knight takes the queen. Now, you'll see that we don't always get exactly what we think we're going to get. However, we will get a lot of what we want by simply going white knight, and we use question marks, the old wild card, on any square goes to any square with check. So the first move of this has to be the white knight forks the king and the queen, so forking the king, it has to be a check. So we have white knight moves with check. Then we click insert new, meaning we're going to put another piece of the puzzle here, another part of the maneuver, which is going to be black's reply. Black king moves from any square to any square. Of course, we uncheck the checkbox. So now we have black king moves from any square to any square. Now we click insert new for white's reply, which is a white knight goes from any square to any square, capturing, that's what we put a check in this box for, as we've seen before, capturing a queen, and the other part that's really important is length has to be changed to be three. Otherwise you get things where a white knight moves, the black king moves away, and then there might be six moves in between the knight taking the queen. So we put three, it's a three part maneuver, so we put three under length, we click OK, and we get some games. We click and of course the white knight has already moved as we've seen before when you do maneuver searches so we go we back up one move using the either the uh, VCR buttons which are not showing on the board at the present time I'm using the cursor keys on the keyboard so we back up one move then we go ahead the knight nice fork by the way it's the king the queen and the rook king moves away knight takes go to the next game back up a move here we have another big old family fork here, the uh, king, queen, and rook. King moves, knight takes. Go to the next game. King, well I didn't back up first. Knight, king moves away, knight takes the queen. Same story here. However, you occasionally get something that's a little bit different than what you actually wanted. For example, here. What we have here is the knight moves to here and what that does, it's a discovered check. The queen on a1 is checking the black king on g7. As soon as the knight moves away, there's the check. The king, of course, has to move, or there has to be a move that blocks that check. King moves, and then we have the knight takes the queen, which is not a knight fork. But what it is is a nice discovered check with an attack on the queen. So you still get a tactic. It's just not the same tactic that you were looking for.
So sometimes you get other results, but they're still interesting and valuable results. Let's do another example here. We have a couple minutes left. Go to Surge. And this time we'll just delete all of it and start over. Start from uh, scratch. White Bishop moves from any square to any square with check. Then we'll have the black. First we have to click insert new. Then we have black king moves. And then we click insert new. White bishop moves from any square to any square and captures anything. We don't care. We'll put a wild card in there as long as the bishop captures something. And the length is still three from our last search that we did, so we want three again. It's a three-part maneuver. We click OK, and we get some games. What we're going to find, these are games from the 1800s. What we're going to find is an awful lot of attacks at F7. For example, here, bishop takes, king takes, and then we have a different bishop capturing something else. So we don't always get what we were looking for, but we do get some interesting stuff regardless. There we go. That was not a bishop fork. What that was was a skewer. The king is skewered to the rook. The king has to get out of the way. The bishop takes the rook. Another f7 deal. Uh, the bishop this time protected by the knight, so the king has to move, and then the bishop takes that knight. This time the bishop moves away. Another discovered check. The rook on b4 checks the king. King has to move away. Bishop takes the rook. Still, all of these are tactical positions, but they're not necessarily bishop forks, which is what we set out to look for. We will find some bishop forks, for example, here. So that's exactly what we wanted there. Bishop forks the rook and the king. King moves here. Bishop takes the rook. However, even if it's not a bishop fork, we frequently find something very similar. We find another tactic that we can use if we're doing tactical searches. We're looking for positions to brush up on our tactics. We often find these with these types of searches. So that's how you do it. Basically, all you have to do is look at the tactic that you want to look for, break it down into its component parts, and usually you will find exactly the tactic you're looking for. However, sometimes, in the case of the bishop fork that we were just looking at, you find other tactics as well. You'll find skewers, or you'll find other types of tactics, other things that are just as useful, just not necessarily the tactic that you're looking for. But the big thing to do is take your tactical maneuver and break it down into individual moves as we saw here using the maneuver tab. White bishop on any square goes to any square with check. The black king has to move away then the white bishop captures on some square, captures some material on some square and you will find tactics as a result. Until next time for USCFSales.com I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.